Want to see new storm footage? Look at this. Uh, you can see the water rushing in. The streets are flooding. If I asked you where this footage was taken, where would you say? The Jersey Shore? Connecticut? No, actually, this is Cleveland, Ohio, 500 miles from the Atlantic coast. This was shot yesterday. Sandy knocked out port power for a quarter million people in and around Cleveland for three days at least. Sandy's having a very real local impact on Ohio residents' lives. But Sandy's march through Ohio also has a national impact because Ohio, of course, is the most crucial of all the swing states. Ohio, for example, is big on early voting. They camp out for it there. As Sandy approached, Ohio counties reported even heavier than usual early voting, with people rushing to cast their ballots ahead of the storm. Lots of things are amazing about Ohio's politics. But frankly, what I find most amazing in Ohio this year is the way the Romney campaign is choosing to close out their campaign there. Remember when Mr. Romney campaigned on that flat-out lie that President Obama is getting rid of the work requirement for welfare, even though President Obama did no such thing? Well, now Mr. Romney is back with a new ad in Ohio with that same old lie about welfare. They brought it back for the end of the campaign. Romney campaign sent Senator Norm Coleman from Minnesota to Ohio to tell voters there that Mitt Romney had no intention of overturning Roe versus Wade. Even though Mitt Romney himself says he would do everything he could to overturn Roe versus Wade, he says if that happened, he'd be delighted to sign a bill banning all abortion at the federal level. Then last week in Ohio, Mr. Romney made a mistake, an out-and-out -out gaffe. I saw a story today that one of the great manufacturers in this state, Jeep, now owned by the Italians, is thinking of moving all production to China. Not true. Totally false. Jeep is not doing that. The day Mitt Romney told that made-up horror story to Ohio voters, Chrysler had already announced that actually they were expanding it in Ohio and in Michigan. They weren't pulling out. Mitt Romney responded to the instant fact-checking, not by taking it back, but by turning that lie into a new ad for Ohio. And then he bought extra airtime for it in Toledo, where Ohio workers make Jeeps and where being told falsely that your job's being shipped to China might be personally terrifying news. Chrysler tried to grant again to set Mr. Romney straight on this, saying, quote, Jeep production will not be moved from the United States to China. Did Mr. Romney take it back? No. He turned it into another ad, a radio ad, again for Ohio. And he expanded it to say the entire auto bailout has been a huge failure. That drew another car company into the fact check, GM, which had been saved, of course, by the auto bailout. A GM spokesman telling the press, quote, we've clearly entered some parallel universe. Also from GM, he said, at this stage, we're looking at Hubble telescope length distances between campaign ads and reality. But here's the thing, and it's one thing to lie about your record or even your opponent's record, but what Mr. Romney has done here is to lie about a third party in that third party's backyard. And you can tell that Mr. Romney's Ohio lie about Jeep is not going to work in Ohio, in part because Ohio voters follow the car industry like it's the local football team. I mean, the Romney campaign's running these ads in Youngstown, for example. Take a look at the Youngstown Vindicator, the kind of reporting they were doing back in July on a local plant. Quote, I think part of this relates to our focus on quality and making sure parts are right so we don't pass problems further up the line, said somebody's cousin. Here's the Youngstown paper in August on a plant expanding. Quote, good news would be welcomed at the plant where recent months have seen rumors of production cuts and whether the plant's third shift was in peril. Call Aunt Nellie and tell her we're going to be fine. I mean, when GM workers get transferred away or welcome back, it's hometown news in Ohio. It's your sister-in-law. It's your dad. This is you, right? Look at this from the Toledo Blade. The most read business stories today in the Blade. In this town where Mitt Romney's running his made-up story about Chrysler and Jeeps. Number one, Marchione refutes Romney's statement. Would you know who this unidentified Marchione is enough to make this the most popular story in your paper? The Toledo Blade audience knows who this is. When Chrysler CEO Sergio Marchione again says they're not moving Jeep jobs to China, that is big hometown paper news. And when you as a candidate lie to the hometown crowd about the hometown news, you cannot expect that lie to float. And it is not floating. The Columbus Dispatch fact check says, quote, oh boy. Cleveland Plain Dealers editorial says, quote, flailing in Ohio, Romney rolls out Jeep ploy. Say what you want about Mr. Romney's overall relationship with the truth throughout this campaign. Say he's prone to gaffes or misstatements, call them fibs, call them lies. Now that he is finishing his campaign in Ohio with a lie about Ohio that Ohio knows is a lie, you can just call this one a mistake. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Have a great night.